Attracting 27 million visitors every year, London is the most visited city in Europe. It's no surprise that London is top of so many people's travel plans, the city was founded by the Romans and has thrived over the centuries. London is one of the most diverse cities in the world, with a rich history and most outstanding culture on the planet. Let's explore the best things to do in London. Number 25. Explore at night. London is a vibrant metropolis both during the day and throughout the night. There is always something happening even after dark, from one-off events to club nights. As the sun sets, London's lights switch on providing the city with a magical illumination. There are free walking tours that explore the city at night or hop on a night tour bus. See St. Paul's Cathedral lit up after dark or visit the Gothic architecture of Big Ben and Westminster Cathedral. Go to Soho and the West End for buzzing nightlife amongst the big neon signs. Travel a little further out to Hampstead Heath for a spot of stargazing or see Hyde Park at night where bats are frequently sighted. Number 24. Buckingham Palace. A trip to London is incomplete without strolling through Green Park to catch a glimpse of Buckingham Palace. The palace has been home to the British royal family since 1837. It features 775 rooms and the largest private garden in London. Some of the palace is open to visitors so you can see a little piece of the royal lifestyle. From outside, watch the world-famous Changing of the Guard. This procedure happens a few times every day and is a great opportunity to witness a historic tradition and the utmost discipline of the Royal Guard, who are all wearing the iconic London bearskin. Number 23. Bond Street. Bond Street connects to Oxford Street and is a popular shopping district in its own right. Bond Street differs to Oxford Street in its selection of stores, with a much greater focus on the exclusive and the designer. Bond Street is one of the most expensive shopping streets in London and is worth visiting for a taste of the indulgent. Doormen stand patiently outside many shop entrances. Diamonds glitter in the windows of watchmakers, jewelers, and even handbag stores. On this street you will find Tiffany's, as well as the flagship stores for Cartier and Ralph Lauren. After a spot of window shopping or flashing the cash, pose with the allies, statue of Winston Churchill and Franklin D. Roosevelt sitting on a bench. Finish your trip to Bond Street by seeking out London's oldest outdoor sculpture above the entrance to Sotheby's. Number 22. Museums. London is one of the best cities in the world for culture with a number of free museums to enjoy. On Exhibition Road in South Kensington, you can find many museums close together. Start with the Natural History Museum and pose for a photo with the infamous Diplodocus skeleton in the main hall. Explore the museum and find ancient fossils and stuffed animals, including a dodo replica. Afterwards, go to the Science Museum next door for hands-on activities and to investigate scientific progress throughout the ages. A short stroll to the Victoria and Albert Museum VNA, will shift focus to cultural history. The VNA Museum has artwork on show alongside fashion and living tools from around the world. Here you will find art students diligently sketching the classical statues and ironwork. Number 21. Platform 9 and 3 fourths. King's Cross is one of the city's busiest locations with a train station that has been open since 1852 serving much of the country. Recent renovations have given a sleek, modern look to the station, try to find the hidden tunnel with walls that light up with art. But for many people around the world, 
King's Cross is known best for something else, the station that Harry Potter uses to journey to Hogwarts. Now you can visit Platform 9 and 3 fourths in real life, in King's Cross Railway Station. Number 20. Harrods. Harrods is one of London's most famous department stores, known particularly for serving the elite and the super-rich. Since opening in 1824, Harrods patrons have included Oscar Wilde, Laurence Olivier, and the royal family. The luxury is spread across a number of floors, laid out in style through Harrods-themed halls. The food hall sells indulgent delicacies from fresh meat and cheese to superior marmalades and pates. The Egyptian hall sells fashion in opulent style to make you feel like a pharaoh as you pass through. At Christmas, Harrods puts together a number of luxury Christmas hampers filled with goodies to make the festivities even more special. Explore the building and get lost while shopping for lavish perfumes, children's toys, and even pets in London's most exclusive department store. Number 19. Galleries. London is an ideal city for art lovers with so many galleries to visit, featuring the best in classic and contemporary art. Most of the city's galleries are free to visitors, including the National Gallery in Trafalgar Square. The National Gallery has something for everyone with work by Da Vinci, Turner, Van Gogh and Rembrandt on display. For prolific modern art, visit the Tate Modern on the South Bank. The building itself is a piece of art, towering above the waterfront. Inside, find pieces by Picasso, Klee and Delaunay. The gallery also features exciting temporary exhibits on every level of the building making it the perfect place for an art fix. Number 18. Leicester Square. Walk in the footsteps of Hollywood stars by paying a visit to Leicester Square. The square is most famous for hosting film premieres to some of the biggest blockbusters. In fact, the square has been a London hotspot since 1670 and an entertainment center since the 19th century. The square is surrounded by a number of cinemas with some of the city's biggest screens, as well as a variety of restaurants. The garden in the center of the square is perfect for cooling off in during the summer or resting your feet after a long day of exploring London. Number 17. Oxford Street. Oxford Street is not only London's top spot for shopping but is Europe's busiest shopping street. It has 300 shops and receives over 500,000 visitors every day. Shop till you drop in designer stores and internationally famous department stores like Debenhams and House of Fraser. Selfridges features intricate and beautiful window displays that change with the seasons. These frequently feature interactive windows and work by acclaimed artists. Around Christmas, the Oxford Street Christmas lights illuminate your shopping sprees and add some glitter to the evenings. Number 16. Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus is instantly recognizable, a square filled with bright lights and big electronic screens. Piccadilly Circus has been a busy London spot since the 17th century when it was a commercial hub. Today it is still the heart of the West End, with easy access from Piccadilly Circus to some of London's biggest theatres and nightclubs, including the Criterion Theatre. The statue of Eros in the center of the circus is itself a popular meeting point and tourist destination. Number 15. Electric Avenue. Electric Avenue is a street in Brixton, South London, famous because it was the first market street in London to be lit by electricity. It spawned the number one song by Eddie Grant and has been the center of some parts of London history, including the Brixton Race Riots in 1981. Today, Electric Avenue is home to Brixton Market, a diverse and eclectic food market. 
Afterwards, check out the rest of the neighborhood. Brixton features a multitude of small businesses selling unique, quirky and handmade items. This is one of the most diverse areas of London and an excellent spot to do some shopping or catch some live music. Number 14. Chinatown. London's Chinatown can be found around Girard Street, sandwiched between Soho and Leicester Square. With its Chinese lanterns and eye-catching red arches, it's difficult to miss this vibrant neighborhood. Filled with authentic Asian restaurants as well as supermarkets and secret bars, there is always something new to explore in Chinatown. For a slice of genuine Asian cuisine, try the HK Diner for delicious roast duck, good service, and big portions. They also serve bubble tea, an Asian trend that has recently swept across the city. Number 13. Brick Lane. Brick Lane was made famous by the book and film adaptation of the same title. As the book's narrative made clear, Brick Lane is the heart of London's Bangladeshi community. An incredibly diverse neighborhood, Brick Lane features road signs in both English and Bengali, and is well known for its abundance of curry houses. This is the perfect spot to find something spicy to eat, but be sure to go to one of the many sweet shops for some authentic South Asian desserts. The area also features a number of trendy bars as well as regular marketplaces, attracting a young and fashionable crowd. Number 12. The O2. The O2 Arena was originally constructed in celebration of the millennium, under the name of the Millennium Dome. It once acted as exhibition center with various exhibits and hands-on activities aimed primarily at children. Today, it is a premier destination for live music and stage shows, hosting the biggest names in entertainment on a regular basis. It also houses a cinema as well as various bars and restaurants featuring cuisines from all over the world. Number 11. Brixton Academy. For those on a hunt for live music, London has thousands of unique venues to offer. Venues span every niche or you can just go to an open night at a local pub and see some up-and-coming musicians. One of the best venues in town, though, is Brixton Academy in South London. The Academy was originally a theatre and cinema called the Astoria, opened in 1929. Fifty years later, the venue became the Academy and now hosts some of the biggest rock and pop acts in the world. Some acts that have played at Brixton Academy include The Clash, Sex Pistols, New Order and Madonna. The Smiths played their final ever performance at Brixton Academy. This is the go-to music venue if you want to catch some live music in London. Number 10. Baker Street. One of the cultural staples of London is Baker Street, best known as the street that Arthur Conan Doyle's infamous detective Sherlock Holmes lived on. Today you can find a Sherlock Holmes museum near the underground station, especially popular after the BBC revival Sherlock. Madame Tussauds is just around the corner, the internationally famous wax museum where you can pose with your favorite celebrities. Number 9. Thames Cruise. The Thames is the lifeblood of London, bringing industry to the city for centuries. It is England's longest river, leading into the North Sea at its end. It has been the base for settlements since prehistoric times, and was a strategic importance to the Romans and English kings, as well as during both world wars. There are a number of companies in London offering cruises across the Thames. Cruises run as regularly as every 30 minutes from several key locations. The cruises pass several key sightseeing locations, including Tower Bridge, the Houses of Parliament, 
and the London Eye. Some cruises run at night so you can see the sights all lit up, whilst others are served with a meal or afternoon tea. This is a lovely and unique way to view the city, traveling along the historic Thames. Number 8. British Film Institute The BFI, or British Film Institute, is a must-see for film lovers. The BFI is situated on the ever-popular South Bank and is the perfect spot to relax after a stroll along the waterfront taking in the culture and atmosphere of this vibrant part of the city. The BFI show films every day, from mainstream blockbusters to re-showings of cult classics to one-off screenings of indie hits. There is also a library and shop for those who like to take their cinema seriously. The BFI also houses its own bar and riverfront restaurant for a delicious meal or to chat about the latest film releases over some drinks. Number 7. Hampstead Heath Hampstead Heath is one of the largest parks in London, covering a massive 790 acres. It sits atop of one of the highest points in London, offering excellent views of the city from Parliament Hill. The heath features grassy fields, wooded areas, and a number of large ponds. It is the best place to experience nature in London with plenty of wildlife around and small woods in which to get lost. There are swimming lidos for those feeling brave enough to swim outdoors in the great British weather. For history buffs, visit Kenwood House, a historical stately home that is known for its curated art collection. Number 6. Shoreditch Shoreditch is one of the trendiest areas of London having recently undergone extensive regeneration. It is now one of the hottest nightlife spots in the city and one of the coolest places to stay in London. Packed full of bars and eateries, it's the perfect place to spend a day and an evening. Check out Trapeze, a circus-themed bar that serves endlessly inventive drinks out of popcorn tub-style cups. For pop culture lovers, there's Far Rockaway, a chilled bar and restaurant filled with comic books, band posters, and a regular 90s night. Or visit the Blues Kitchen for a blues night accompanied by sticky ribs and other American staples. Number 5. Soho Soho has long been known as the base of London's sex industry. The area is now the most popular nightlife spot, although there are still some sex shops dotted here and there, giving Soho a delightfully risque vibe. Soho is often considered the center of the city's LGBTQ asterisk community with plenty of gay and lesbian bars to check out after the sun goes down. In addition to bars and clubs, Soho has a number of theaters, jazz bars and restaurants to explore, making it a cultural hotspot. Its close proximity to Leicester Square means it's also a great place to go for a few drinks after a play or stage show. Number 4. London Eye A trip to London isn't complete without a visit to the iconic London Eye. Originally constructed to celebrate the millennium, the Eye is a giant ferris wheel offering gorgeous views across the city. At night, the wheel is lit up in seasonal colors and is the centerpiece of London's annual New Year's fireworks display. You can share one of the spacious pods with other keen visitors or splurge on a private pod for you and someone special. Team your visit to the Eye with a trip to the adjacent London Aquarium to see aquatic creatures from around the world, including jellyfish, seahorses, and crocodiles. Number 3. Camden Camden is a well-known cultural neighborhood in North London. Known for its alternative culture, the crowds here are filled with goths, punks, rockabillies and tourists alike.
Camden has a vibrant body mod community and you will find a number of piercing and tattoo shops in this part of town. Camden Market is eclectic and diverse, featuring street food from international cuisines, and lots of stalls selling trinkets and unique artwork to take home. Rummage through vintage clothing racks, find a used book to take on your travels, or visit one of the city's best vegan bakeries at Cookies and Scream. Number 2. Westminster Westminster is considered the political hub of London and is home to the Houses of Parliament and the world-famous Big Ben. Big Ben is the name of the bell housed within the iconic clock tower, and it still chimes every hour. You can also find Westminster Abbey here, which is open to the public most days. Whilst visiting these landmarks, be sure to rest your feet in Parliament Square, which features statues of important political individuals, including Nelson Mandela and Winston Churchill. Number 1. Hyde Park. Hyde Park is possibly the most famous park in London, and it is one of the largest. The park has historical significance, having hosted a number of demonstrations and protests including protests by the suffragettes. You can also find Westminster Abbey here, which is open to the public most days. Whilst visiting these landmarks, be sure to rest your feet in Parliament Square, which features statues of important political individuals, including Nelson Mandela and Winston Churchill. <laughs>